you are merging timelines right now. Basically, what is happening is your younger self is meeting your current self. And you two are meeting in the middle to exchange any type of insight or clarity or wisdom or knowledge that you've had in previous timelines and current timelines that need to be exchanged to help bring clarity to the two. You're probably at this point where you're recalling old conversations that you have had with yourself or with others where things have been revealed to you that have been making its way into your present day life. Things are coming to the surface for you at this point. Conversations, clarity, wisdom, old memories that have been laying dormant in your brain that's been piled on top of other stuff. You are recalling these memories. And as you are recalling these memories, you will remember the wisdom that God gave you when you first had, when you first heard the conversation, when you first had the conversation with that person. And you're going to see how what was made evidence to you then is being made aware to you now. And now you're seeing as you are merging of the two. There will come to a point where you will completely merge timelines all together where your current, your current self and your younger self have met completely in the middle between two timelines. And as you merge, it's like you two will swap places and you will see yourself as a younger version of yourself with the knowledge and wisdom that you have now. And you're going to see yourself as the current version of yourself from the knowledge that you had then. Because some of the knowledge that you got in your past when you were younger, you may have forgotten now because it's stored somewhere in your memory. Don't think that just because you were younger that you were less smart. You may have been less wise back then, but don't insult your intelligence or don't underestimate or undermine your intelligence because you are a very, very intelligent person. Very. What God is also asking you to do is to utilize your discipline that you had within yourself from younger versions of you. Whether this was a teenage version of you, whether you were in high school or even in college, if you're out now. The versions of you that were more disciplined, that really followed a routine, that is able to follow orders, is able to stick to a routine and stay consistent with it. A version of you that is able to get the work done bring that version of yourself to now today because previous versions of you have gone through less trauma than you have and sometimes your trauma can cause you to freeze up a bit and to not take the action that god is calling you to take it's god can call you to move but because of your trauma you feel stuck and you don't move. But there's another version of you that will push through that anxiety, that will push through that fear, that will push through that doubt and do it anyway. Because there's a version of you that doesn't fear the unknown. There's a version of you that feels the fear and does it anyway. There is a version of you that is less fearful than where you are now, possibly. Tap into those younger versions of yourself and bring them to your present day. And watch how they are able to navigate for you in this current day and age. You are multifaceted. You have multiple versions of yourself living within your vessel. All you have to do is call those versions to the forefront, allow them 
to come to your vessel to fully take over so that they can work through you. You are a spiritual being having a human experience and you are a multi-dimensional being. Allow those multiple versions of you to come through and to see how much they can help you. I should.